this video, you will learn how to use Protect Toolkit 7 to generate Protect Server Identity Certificates on Talus Protect Server 3 HSMs. And you will also learn how to establish trust between two or more Protect Server 3 HSMs. Protect Server 3 HSMs require PICs to communicate with the PTK client through the secure messaging system. An optional trusted channel of communication that is mandatory for use in FIPS mode. User tokens can be replicated across multiple HSMs in a deployment, only if the HSMs trust one another through the exchange of PICs. Token replication is also necessary in any system that is operating under a workload distribution or high availability operating scheme to boost system performance and reliability. All of these features can only be used if every HSM in your deployment has a PIC. This PIC can be signed by the Protect Server Owner key of a Protect Server 3 HSM Certificate Authority that is authenticating all of the HSMs in your deployment, or it can be self-signed by the Protect Server's own identity key. This video will first demonstrate how to establish a Protect Server 3 HSM as the Certificate Authority with the Owner key and Owner Certificate, and then show you how to authenticate the remaining HSMs in your deployment when the HSM Certificate Authority is in production, and then when it's offline. Then we will demonstrate how to create a self-signed PIC on a Protect Server 3 HSM. Finally, we will demonstrate how to establish a relationship of mutual trust between multiple HSMs. Before beginning, make sure that all Protect Server 3 HSMs are installed and available to the PTK client. If you will be authenticating HSMs with an offline certificate authority, two PTK clients will be operated, client A and client B. The HSM certificate authority must be installed and available to client A, while the remaining HSMs that will be authenticated must be installed and available to client B. The admin tokens on all HSMs must be initialized and all HSM clocks must be synchronized. And if you'd like to customize the location of the PTK client key store, make sure you do so before proceeding. For more information, refer to the Protect Server 3 documentation available online at the Talus Documentation Hub. Let's begin by establishing an HSM as the certificate authority for the other Protect Server 3 HSMs in your organization. This procedure is completed by the administrator using the CTIdent tool. First, list the Protect Server 3 HSMs that are available to the PTK client. Then, Generate the owner key and owner certificate by specifying the desired certifying HSM by its device or serial number, as listed by the PTK client. In this video, we will be setting HSM 630723 as the certificate authority. You are prompted for the admin pin of the HSM. The HSM now has a certificate in a POC pending state. To establish the certificate as the owner certificate, you must use the owner key to sign a Protect Server Identity Certificate. We'll now use the owner key to generate an identity key and sign the Identity Certificate for this certifying HSM. We will do this by specifying the HSM Certificate Authority's serial number twice to indicate that it should create an Identity Key and Identity Certificate for itself and use its owner key to sign the Identity Certificate. You're prompted for the admin pin of the HSM. If a key and certificate already exists on this HSM, you're prompted to confirm that you wish to overwrite them. HSM 630723 has now been set as the certificate authority with an owner key, owner certificate, identity key, and identity certificate. The owner key of the certifying HSM can now be used to authenticate another HSM that is available to the same PTK client as the certifying HSM. Run the following command and specify the serial number of the certifying HSM and the HSM that needs to be authenticated. Alternatively, you can specify a comma separated list of multiple HSMs or include all in the command to certify all HSMs that are available to the client. You are prompted for the admin pin of the certificate authority. If the key and certificate already exists on the HSM that will be authenticated, you are prompted to confirm that you wish to overwrite them. 
you are then prompted to input the admin SO pin and the admin pin for the HSM device that will be authenticated. The HSM has now been authenticated by the certifying HSM and has an identity key and signed identity certificate that has been exported to the PTK client key store. The certifying HSM can also be used to authenticate an HSM that is being accessed by another PTK client. In this procedure, we will be using two PTK clients. PTK client A will be communicating with the HSM certificate authority, HSM 630723, while PTK client B will be communicating with the HSM that will be authenticated by the HSM certificate authority. On PTK client B, list all of the available HSMs. In this example, we will be authenticating HSM 621301. Generate an identity key and certificate signing request, or CSR, for the HSM. The CSR is stored on the client in the location reported by the CTIDENT utility, with the serial number of the HSM in the file name. After generating the identity key in CSR, securely transfer the CSR from client B to client A. On client A, we will set the location of the CSR as our working directory and then import the CSR to the admin token of the HSM certificate authority by specifying the CSR file name, a label for the certificate, and the admin slot. You can then display the keys available on the HSM admin token. Then sign the CSR with the owner key by specifying them by their labels as shown in the previous CTKMU command. The identity certificate is given the same label as the CSR. Export the newly signed identity certificate to client A. If you have created any other CSRs that you would like to authenticate, you can repeat the signing and export steps for each CSR. Once this is completed, export the HSM Certificate Authority's owner certificate to client A. Then securely transfer the owner certificate and the newly signed identity certificate from client A to client B. Within the same working directory on client B, import the owner certificate to the HSM being authenticated by specifying the serial number of the HSM. Then, import each HSM's newly signed identity certificate. The HSM has now been authenticated by the Offline Certificate Authority. If you will not use an HSM Certificate Authority, you must create a self-signed identity certificate for each of your HSMs. To do this, input the following command followed by a comma-separated list of serial numbers for all of the HSMs that require identity certificates. You are then prompted for the admin pin of each HSM. If any of the HSMs already have an identity key identity certificate set, you are prompted to confirm that you wish to overwrite the existing set. You have now created self-signed PICs for each of your HSMs, and each PIC is exported to the PTK client key store. In the next procedure, we will establish trust between two HSMs by exchanging their PICs. It is important to note that if you are establishing trust for an HSM currently serving as the certificate authority, that HSM must not have a certificate in the POC pending state. All the HSMs being trusted must have their PICs signed by the current POK. To establish trust between HSMs, run the following command while specifying the serial number of a source HSM and the destination HSM. A comma-separated list of multiple destination HSMs can also be specified, or every available HSM can be specified as a destination HSM by including the All option in the command. After running the command, the destination HSM will trust the source HSM. To establish a relationship of mutual trust, we run the command once again while flipping the source and destination HSMs. A relationship of mutual trust has now been established between these two HSMs. 
Alternatively, every available HSM can be configured to trust every other available HSM with the following command. To remove trust between HSMs, run the following command while specifying the serial number of the trusting HSM, followed by the serial number of the HSM being removed from trust. A comma-separated list of multiple HSMs can be specified to be removed from trust, or every available HSM can be specified to be removed from trust, by including the All option in the command. After running the command, the trusting HSM will no longer trust the HSM that was specified to be removed from trust. We can now run the command again while specifying another HSM as the trusting HSM to remove more trust relationships. The relationship of mutual trust has now been removed between these two HSMs. Alternatively, we can remove all trust relationships between HSMs visible to the PTK client with the following command. In this video, you learned how to create identity certificates for your Protect Server 3 HSMs and establish trust relationships between them. You should now be ready to use the secure messaging system, perform token replication, and establish a workload distribution system across the HSMs in your deployment. Thank you for watching, and for more information about operating your Protect Server 3 with Protect Toolkit 7, please refer to the product documentation at the Talos Documentation Hub.